five things narcissists do to get you back. If there is one thing the narcissist hates, it's rejection. It hurts the narcissist. It bruises their fragile ego. It makes them feel insignificant. And it's something they don't want to accept because they want things to pan out in the way that they see it in their minds. They want to be the ones to discard you when they no longer have any use for you. When you discard the narcissist, you've just messed up all of their plans for you. So they will often try to get you back. But it's not because they love you or care for you. The narcissist is just following their own agenda. They're using you to meet their own feelings and needs. Because when you discarded them, it bruised their ego. And now they want to use you to soothe the pain. So in that moment, it may seem as though they realize what they did wrong. It may seem like they desire to change. But it's only a matter of time until the real them comes back. And then they will be even worse than before. Because now they want revenge. They want to punish you for rejecting them. But if you are aware of what the narcissist is trying to do, you will be able to protect yourself. Which is why I have created this video for you. So here are five things narcissists do to get you back. One, they will apologize. The narcissist will return with an apology as though they realize what they did wrong. And at this point, many victims may think that maybe they're not dealing with a narcissist. But even narcissists will apologize to you. A narcissist will say or do anything if they think that it will suit their agenda. So if they think that an apology will get you back, they will try it. It doesn't mean that it's genuine or sincere. It's just another one of their manipulation tactics. Two, they will use future faking. They will make false promises about something in the future. Maybe they will promise you that things are going to change. They might say they're going to get a job or they're going to pay you back for everything you did for them. But they never take any action towards it in that moment because it's just a manipulation tactic. 
But if you do continue to pressure them in that moment, then yes, they may act, but that's really all it is. It's just an act. They're putting on a show in an attempt to win you over, but they really have no desire to improve anything. They just want to get you back. Which is why once you take them back, it's only a matter of time until they return to normal. Because they were never serious about changing anything. Three. They will play the victim. If the narcissist knows that you're not going to fall for the love bombing, they will play the victim. They will act like you or someone else did something to them. And now you are conveniently the only person who can help them. They always have some excuse for why you need to remain in their lives. It's like none of the abuse matters. It doesn't matter what they put you through. As soon as you try to move on, they will guilt trip you. They will try to make you feel bad. They will make you feel like you have abandoned your duty or responsibility. Whenever it's something negative, the focus always has to be on you. They will never take accountability for what they did to you. When you are with a narcissist, you are the one who is held responsible for anything that goes wrong. So they will play the victim. They will give you sob stories. But it's just another con. It's just another deceptive tactic to swindle you of your time, attention or money. They're just manipulating your emotions. They're trying to make you feel guilty. So that you will cave in and give them what they want. They will make threats against you. If the victim playing and guilt tripping doesn't work, the narcissist will try to put you in a state of fear. They will make you feel like you are in danger of an unfortunate consequence. As though something harmful might happen to you unless you do what they want. These are often just empty threats. But never underestimate what the narcissist is capable of. When a narcissist has been rejected, they might do things that you have never seen before. But when they're trying to get you back, they will make threats. They will threaten to inflict some injury, damage or other hostile action on you in retribution for something you have done or not done. Because they want to put you in a state of fear. They want to make you feel like something dangerous or threatening is about to happen. Because then that makes it more likely for you to act. It makes it more likely for you to do what they want. Because you just wanted to stop. You don't want to be afraid. 
you don't want to deal with anything unfortunate. Which is why they will use fear to control you. Five, smear campaign. If all else fails, the narcissist will start a smear campaign against you. If they cannot love bomb you or make you do what they want, that is when they're forced to accept that they cannot control you. You're no longer susceptible to their manipulation, so their only other option is to control your environment. They will make false accusations about you, or they will exaggerate any minor false mistakes that you have made. They will use your reactions to the abuse as a way to portray you as the abuser. They will say horrible things about you to people to paint a negative picture of you to make you look bad so that people turn against you. Because if you're not with the narcissist They don't want you to be with anyone or anything. You either live for them or you don't live at all. That's how they see it. They hope that by starting a smear campaign against you, you will have no support and then your only option will be to return to them. Because it's either that, or you have no one. They will interfere with your family and friends in an attempt to isolate you. They will cause trouble for you at work so that you have no means to support yourself because they know that if you have no one to depend on and you're no longer capable of supporting yourself, you're more likely to return to them. These are five things narcissists do to get you back. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.